As early as January 2nd, 1915, Field Marshal Kitchener, a senior British Army officer and Earl, wrote to Sir John French, the commander of the British force. Kitchener wrote that the German lines in France may be looked upon as a fortress that cannot be carried by assault. Kitchener may have become the face of the First World War, but he was not keen to send Britons into a battle they could not win. Problem is, you couldn't go around the flanks either, because at one end of the front was the sea, which was dominated by the Royal Navy. And at the other end, you have got neutral Switzerland, which even if you ignore the neutrality, is very mountainous and is not good terrain for campaigning. But novel methods could be tried. Asphyxiating gases were used on the Western Front on the 22nd of April and immediately became a symbol of the atrocity of industrial warfare. Poison gas and trenches weren't the only thing soldiers had to contend with. This was a war unlike any other fought in modern history. Military technologies had changed at the turn of the century. You get quick firing artillery, rifles, machine guns, the characteristic weapons of the First World War. The machine gun has been described as concentrated essence of infantry, and it made possible the spewing out of ammunition at velocities and speeds and densities never before seen in the history of warfare. It greatly enhanced the defensive position, which is why we think of World War I as characterized by trench warfare, where the lines of advance barely moved over months and even years, because well-entrenched positions defended by machine gun fire in particular were very, very difficult to move given the conventional inherited standards of how one waged war. You get the internal combustion engine uh, being applied to warfare, airplanes and motor vehicles by 1914, developing into the tank, the most famous innovative weapon of the First World War, as the conflict developed and stalemated on the battlefield. So, in terms of tactics and technology, it's the first modern war. We can't really look beyond that. And it also really changes those societies in enormous ways, socially.